Hi, this is Ashley. Welcome to the introduction to Court Reserve for SWIM and HOAs. We are excited you are here today. First, I'm going to show you some slides of what the mobile experience would be for not only your residents or members of your SWIM or homeowners association, but also for your staff as well. So Court Reserve has clubs and organizations all over the world, mostly focusing on North America, Canada, and the United States, but across Europe and Asia as well. First thing I want you to know is that the Court Reserve app is downloadable on both the iPhone and Android platform. As part of the base price in Court Reserve, your residents or members would download the mobile device and see that it's all about you. You'll notice on the left hand side that it's all about your organization with your logo or swim club. Then the next tab is all about general announcements. Maybe you have swim, le swim lesson signups or maybe you have a new coach. You can put these up as often as you like as a staff and the red dot indicates to your member that there is a new announcement for them to read. The next couple of tabs, gym time and events, are all of the great things you want your residents to sign up for. If you would like for them to sign up for gym time or maybe you have a one tennis or pickleball court, that is very easily toggled through and signed up by your members. If you have swim or great events at your organization, they would sign up under the events tab. The tabs, my reservations, my events, and my account are all of the things that your member or resident has already reserved or signed up for as well. Let's talk a little bit more about your residents and members and their experience on the mobile device. For instance, we have put gym time here as a court so they can go in and one family at a time can go in and reserve time at your gym. This is an approved gym reservation. You can also create a custom question. Notice I said how many family members, including yourself, are you bringing to the gym? Especially during this time of contact tracing, I know a lot of the gyms and smaller facilities are using this so that just one family at a time can visit. You can see that they can do this and they can actually cancel on their mobile device. On the left hand side, events in Court Reserve are how we help you with pool reservations. So you can see we have several different kinds. We've got Family Swim, Lap Swimmers, and Kitty Swim. These are all designated for different pools um, at the organization with different times and different numbers of registrants that can sign up. You can see on the right that this family has already submitted a registration for a pool time. Up in the top, you can see their registration was submitted successfully. They also receive a confirmation email that they can take with them or have on their mobile device at the pool. And you can see an update and withdrawal button as well. Now, all of these times and permissions and restrictions are set up by you and your staff at the organization. You can also set limits to how often families or how many times per week or per day they can sign up for SWIM, especially if you have limited number of slots and limited space. So we can help you set up restrictions and then when your families go in to make reservations, if they have already reached their max, they will be alerted to this as well. Depending on the setup that you do with Court Reserve, there's a lot of things that we can help you do. Now, some of you will just need a basic system to do swim reservation times, and we can help you with that. But we can also help you with membership, payments, transactions. We are a full payment and membership platform. So I just wanted to make sure you saw all of the things that we can do from the mobile experience. Now, let's talk about your staff or your coaches. If you have swim coaches or any other staff that wants to be able to be assigned to certain events in Court Reserve, well, they actually get their own instructor module with their own calendar and the ability to set things up within the Court Reserve system on their mobile device. They can also pull up the member directory with an email and phone list as well. Now, coaches and staff also have the ability not only to see the member side, but also the admin dashboard on their mobile device. And admin and staff, with permission, can also create closures. So if there's a weather event, 
you can simply take out your mobile device and actually close down your pools so that your members would know that the pools are closed. They'll see this through email capability. And on the desktop side, you could actually put out a global announcement as well. Staff can also view on their mobile device um, any of the swim events. They can register new members um, to that swim event. They can also use the check-in feature. Check-in is a fantastic feature in Court Reserve because as a pool, you can check your members in as they come into the pool. We also have a setup to where we can keep them from canceling their reservation in order to kind of do over the system. Um, last year, we put in a great feature where if you have limited spaces and you've set for three family visits per week, we had some members going in and trying to cancel when they had already checked into the pool. So we now have a great new feature to where they are not able to do that once they are checked in. The check-in feature also allows you to run attendance and use it for no-show reports in the future as well. So now we are on the member portal of the Court Reserve app. This is called the welcome page. The welcome page is all about you. You'll see up in the top left-hand corner, it's all about your logo. You can add pictures, policies, and procedures, giving your members or residents the option to understand how to use this and make it very easy for them to go in and reserve pool time. You will notice here we have cancellation policies. We have information about how to download the app as well as some cautionary guidelines for the pool. We have sample information that you can use to copy and paste this onto your own welcome page. So make sure you let us know you'll need that. Now above the welcome page, well, these are those global announcements that we mentioned on the mobile device. If there was a new global announcement here, it would be indicated by the red dot. And I would also see the red dot up here um, on the announcements tab. Now again, from the member standpoint, I can go to the calendar. This is the calendar view of events. And the events are of course what we do with swim in court reserve so you can see here as a member i can scroll through see all of the available swim times available i can also filter this out as well now if i want to go over to the events tab so we'll actually come here to kitty swim when we open up the tab as you can see here there are several dates with times in order to sign up so from a member standpoint i see the time is 11 to 12. i'm going to register there are 10 places still available I'm going to come out here and I'm going to click on those family members who want to attend this event. There is a pull waiver here, which means I need to read this. This is a waiver or disclosure that you can add in the Court Reserve platform. Once I go to click this box, then I'll be able to make my reservation. But again, I will not be able to follow through with this reservation, as you can see up here in the top left hand corner, until I click on this box and now I can move forward with the reservation. So my reservation's been confirmed, and I've also just got a confirmation email. As a member, if I need to come in and update this reservation, I can come in and simply take a person off or add a family member. And again, this makes it really easy for your members to come in. Now, if there was a wait list here, um, so the you know, all 25 slots were already full. I could click on the wait list. Now wait list works two different ways in Court Reserve. You can set it up to where if there was a slot that became open, then all of the people on the wait list would get an email and then it's kind of first come first serve. The second way and the way that we encourage pools to do is auto register. Basically the system would go through and depending on the number of slots available and still open, it would go to that family that had that exact number of spots. So what do I mean by that? Let's say a family of five pulls out their registration. They can't come to the pool. Well, the system would actually go in and look at, okay, who was the first family that signed up? Well, that family is a family of two. So they would get an audit register and get an email with a confirmation that they've been signed up. Now the system would also look at the next family. Well, the next family in line is actually a family of four. So it would actually skip that family and go to the next family, which is a family of three because there are five total spots open. So this is an appropriate way to fill every single slot at your pool this summer. 
Now, if we go up here, we see gym time. Gym time is how we use for courts for tennis and pickleball. So you could use this for any of those. You could also use it to reserve your playground or even uh, picnic tables at your organization. But here you can see we're using it as the gym. So if I, as a family, wanted to go in, I could you know, toggle through different days of the week. And depending on the restrictions and permissions, if I come in here and click reserve, this is for me, it's a one hour gym time. All of these times and start and durations are all set up by you and your organization. How many family members, including yourself, are you bringing to the gym? Well, this is called a custom field in Court Reserve, and so it helps you keep up with the number of people in a household that's coming to the gym. Again, we have another waiver or disclosure that I must sign off on as a member, and when I check the box, now I have uh, um, the opportunity to see that my reservation time is not allowed because I'm only allowed so many days ahead. So again, once you come in here and set up restrictions and permissions, then this would be a great way to make sure that all of your slots at the gym are full and it keeps everybody with an open chance and a chance to come and have equal gym time. So you don't have pool hogs or gym hogs or court hogs. Everybody gets equal time in the system. So before we leave the member portal, I do wanna show you a couple things. If your members come out here under my profile, they'll see a lot of information. So they'll be able to come in here and see their login and password, additional information, phone and email. They can unsubscribe from any marketing emails that you guys may send out from the organization. But they can also come in here and click on My Courts and see all of their upcoming gym or court reservations and even ones that were in the past and canceled. They can also come to the My Events tab and see all of the upcoming pool and swim times that themselves and their family members have signed up for as well. All right, let's go over to the admin side and take a look at the setup. Now, members don't have admin buttons, only admins do, but this is a great way so that you only have one account as an admin and then you can use view member portal and go back and forth between member portal and admin. So this is the expanded scheduler of Court Reserve. You can see here we have our pools, the adult pool, family pool, gym, and the kitty pool. We have a lot of information here. We can go in and look at registrants um, a day at a time. Let's just take a look at today. Here on the family swim time, we have our 12 to two o'clock. We have seven registrants. So if we pull that up, we can see all of the families and the family members that have signed up. We can also go ahead and check them in from this view, just like we did on the mobile device as well. If someone needed to be rescheduled, you could simply hit the reschedule button here. Or if someone called in and said they needed to cancel their reservation, then you could simply cancel that here as well. Now you can register members easily by clicking on the register button and the view all members by coming in here. This pulls up all of your members within the Court Reserve platform and you could simply with one click of a button click register and now we've registered two more people to this particular swim time. Again, using the check-in feature is going to allow for great reporting um, for attendance and even contact tracing in the future. And if you needed to send an email to all of these particular pool registrants, you could do that from this view as well. Now, the check-in button is also located here by the triangle. So once you come in and check all of these folks in, we'll do that quickly. You can see here that once everyone is checked in, there will be a checkbox instead of the triangle here. Now, another feature, if you hover over the icon, we do have an audit log indicated by the magnifying glass. The audit log just simply shows you everything that has happened to this event since the creation and who actually did this. So you'll see here, we've had many event registrations done by admin, A in parentheses means admin, and when this was actually created and what it was for. Again, it gives you great, um, viewing into what's happening with each event, especially if things get canceled or people get, um, you know, need information about what's happening with their registration. Reservations tab over here on the left and pull up all reservations and see additional information about reservations in the system. Um, now, the setup of SWIM is done under the events tab, so I'll show you quickly. We have a great 
webinar all about events that we can help show you how to set this up. But quickly, I'll just jump into the event side here. We have multiple dates for this reoccurring event. And if we go into the general info tab, you can see again, it's very easy to set up the swim times. So we just name it appropriately under the appropriate category, which you can come in and create with your max number of registrants, your start and end times. And then most pool times happen daily. So we'll put this daily. Now I will encourage you to put an end by date and make all of these the same. Court Reserve has a maximum number of event dates set at 99. So you cannot do more than 99 event dates. So I would encourage you to use the end by date, set all of your events to this one date so that you know on April 25th, you need to come in and actually extend all of your pool dates to 99 more days. Now, another way to make sure that all of your family sign up for each day is to only check the box, allow registrants to register for single dates. You want to make sure and create the appropriate wait list if you'd like to use that. And then also make sure that you um, put the correct pool on this correct event. If you don't assign a court or one of your pools to this particular event, it will not show up on your scheduler. Now, as we come down here, most of you will only have one family membership. Just make sure that these boxes are checked, is public, allow online registration, and of course, hide pricing because you're not charging your members. And we want to make sure that it doesn't show up as zero cost. Now, probably one of the most important things is to put a drop-in registration start date. This will help keep your events from getting too many dates out. It will also help you keep your members from signing up for dates all the way from now until the summer. This means that one week before each date, your member will come in and actually sign up so that, again, they're not going in and hogging up all of the great pool times for sure. Now, on the additional setup tab, you can come in and add those waivers and disclosures that are appropriate. And then if you have any registration restrictions, you can do so here as well. Again, if you have more than one membership, this is easy for Court Reserve to handle. We can even handle any membership fees, initiation fees, and any tax as well. If you decide to take payments in Court Reserve for anything, we can help you. We have full transactional reporting developed by fantastic accountants um, from a lot of our clubs over the last five years. Um, so we do have some great reporting on financials. Now, reservation reports are also great. You can come out here. Now, reservations for us would be those gym reports. And then we can actually pull member reports. You know, what members have not been to the pool within the last couple weeks? Or what members have a reservation date um, within the last week? Lots of great information on the reports as well. So now I want to show you a couple more things before we um, leave the webinar today. Again, our system users in Court Reserve are all given permissions. So if you come out here to create some lobby or front desk staff or pool attendants, you can give them permissions uh, to open and close courts, maybe sign in members, create events, but not allow them to do anything outside of their scope. If we come back here into the settings, we do have email messages, of course, that go out um, for the system. So anytime a reservation is made, um, your members would get an email and you can come in here and add custom messaging and pictures to those emails as well. Again, disclosures are found here. You could come in and create numerous different disclosures for court reservations or gym time or pool. Um, and it is simply a copy and paste. So when you go to create that disclosure, you name it and you just take your verbiage and paste it right into here. If we come back out here again, the booking settings, the restrictions and permissions are probably something that is very important to organizations who have a lot of residents or members and a very small maximum number of uh, court time or pool time. So you can actually come in here and put down, you know, how many days in advance they can book gym time, how many um, courts they can book how many minutes per court time they can book. We have lots and lots of different restrictions and permissions, and we're happy to help you set those up as well. 
You can also come in and restrict on your events. So maybe you have a, a large family pool, but you only have a small kitty pool. So you can actually come in here and say, okay, families can come in and they have so many registrations allowed for the next seven days. So once one of those registrations falls off, then they still have three. It really gives you the flexibility to control the number of times people can come in a seven day period as well. Okay, if we come on down again, your welcome page is something that we encourage you to go in and really make your own, add your own photos and information as well as we have an anonymous page. So this would be if you have more of a public pool, you could actually use this for people wanting to get an account and become a member of your pool if that was something that you guys did at your organization. Now, again, we can help you with payment and billing. If that's something that you need, you know, please reach out to us and, and let us know how we can do that. The other thing I want to mention is really around how do you get your members or your residents inside the court reserve platform? Two ways. If you have a really good and clean list of your residents or members with first name, last name, email of that primary household or that um, you know, that one household member, then we can actually send you our import template and you can fill that Excel sheet out, send it back to us and Court Reserve will help you import that. Or you can easily come in under portal settings and use our sign up form. The sign up form makes it easy for you to send the link out to potential members or your residents. You can require certain information. You can ask custom questions. You can also have them sign off on any disclosures or waivers. And this would be an example of a member registration form that you could set up. And once you send out your link, then they could come in here and fill out lots of great information, including information that requires them to have maybe a HOA number or a member number so that you'll know that they do have the rights to fill this out and be in your organization. Once they do that and click on the terms of your disclosure, then over here under your to-do list, you could actually come in and see that you have new members to review and you can actually accept or refuse membership into your court reserve platform in order to be able to come in and reserve pool time. So we really want to help you create your court reserve platform for exactly what you need. So when you come out and click create your free account, our chat support team is going to help you get that set up. We'd love to answer your questions. So again, if you have more questions, please reach out to us and we'll be glad to set up a short follow-up phone call and answer those questions for you. Thank you so much for joining us today.